Oh, hey, man, what's up? Oh, uh, you want to do live stream? Uh, sounds pretty cool. Uh, so do you want to have gameplay in the background or what? Alright, so you'll be playing, but you want both of our voices in there? Alright, so since we're using Skype here, uh, I'll go on ahead and search YouTube on how to get both of our voices in it. Let me go on ahead and search this real quick. Alright man, uh, I've been searching for quite a little while now and I'm not finding much. Have you found anything? Oh, you're not really finding anything either. Um, so let me just go ahead and keep searching and I'll get back to you. Alright, alright, that's it, I'm through. Uh, I think we're pretty much done searching here, dude. I really wanted to do that live stream with you, but I don't think we'll get able to do it because there's no videos on YouTube on how to stream a Skype call successfully, so just gonna have to call it quits today, dude. Sorry about that. Alright guys, uh, in my mind that's pretty freaking ridiculous that there's not any videos really on how to explain how to stream Skype calls. But um, I don't want you to be that person up there that uh, just can't figure out how. So I'm going to go on ahead and teach you guys how to stream a Skype call. So stay tuned. Alright, so the main reason that you guys click this video is that you guys want to know how to live stream a Skype call. Luckily, I'm here to help you guys out with that. So the first thing that you want to do is click the link in the description, go to the website of a program called Virtual Audio Cable. Now what this program does is it common, uh, it combines the audio from your microphone as well as the audio from your speakers into one for that you can set that microphone device as the one when you're live streaming or doing anything else. If you feel like recording something in Audacity, you can just pick the audio line and record let's say uh, gameplay, let's say if you're a commentator of gameplay you can get your gameplay uh, audio and your voice at the same exact time so uh, and there's a lot of other things that can be used for but um these are the main things that I use it for so I'm gonna start off by going down here to the bottom all programs virtual audio cable first open control panel alright everything here needs to stay the same that it is except for I believe connected source lines all you need to have is line you don't need to have any other of these selected so in the cables only have one cable selected and you can go on ahead and hit close on that so go to all programs again under virtual audio cable it's audio repeater or uh, in my case <clears throat> I believe since I'm 64 bit uh, it's audio repeater MME so go on ahead and open that and then before you do anything go on ahead and go back into there and open another one okay so now you have two of them on the screen the first one will be your microphone so uh, in my case the blue snowball so in wave in I'm gonna hit blue snowball and in wave out I'm gonna hit line one okay so the wave out basically means what it's gonna show up as when it asks for a default audio device when you're live streaming or going through audacity so on the second one you want to hit your speakers in my case it's stereo mix now uh, stereo mix is kind of hard to figure out if you don't know but uh, there are ways to get it I'm not exactly sure so I couldn't help you guys out with that very much but um, for most computers it's just classified as stereo mix which is obviously the audio coming out of your speakers so just going ahead and hit that and then wave out once again line one virtual audio cable so you hit start on both of them so as you guys can see over here on the left I am talking and is picking it up so let's go on ahead and open audacity real quick to see if it picks it up so we want to open audacity and whatever delete temporary file and if we go over here under I believe it is okay alright so let's go on ahead and full screen this okay I believe it's under edit preferences and then under audio the device you can click line one and it will pick the audio coming out of the speakers as well as your voice so uh, that should be really good by the way that was playback so under recording you would want to pick this and then channel stereo whatever you want to do and um, go ahead and record yourself kinda like I am now as you guys can see uh, it's recording stereo so it's recording two tracks so uh, yeah you guys can do that pretty well um, all you have to do really is I'll just kinda do a little representation all you have to do is go on to Justin TV and then you want to pretend like you're gonna live stream then let's wait for this to load click allow obviously <laughs> alright let's click this and then it's gonna say uh, press start or something like that 
you know, to record, but you don't want to do that right away. Okay, we want to go and set up audio, and like I said earlier, click line one. If you're on a Skype call with anybody, uh, that will pick it up. But one more thing is that if you are on a Skype call and you are live streaming, similar to what I'm doing, you want to go into your Skype, go into here. And for audio settings, for both of these, you want to have line one. So this one, you want line one, and want to crank that all the way up. This one doesn't matter what uh, what volume it is, but you want to have that one line one also. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any more questions, be sure to send a message or comment below. This was tell you how. As always, have a nice day. Rate, comment, and subscribe.